Jukebox LA Band Wasp is in concert tonight with Raven and Slayer tonight. Massey Hall, and we're very happy here on Toronto Rocks to be able to welcome Blackie Lawless. Da -da, Ta -da. The one How are you only. feeling, by the way? I'm feel fine. Yeah, you had a little bit of food poisoning uh, yesterday in Boston. Oh no, you can't tell me stars don't get food poisoning. Don't tell anybody that. No, no, I'm fine. What would you prefer we say? Uh, well, let's put it this way. The people that gave us what we had aren't going to be giving anybody anything much of anything after this. You can fill in the blanks. A pregnant you pause like. from the host there. That's right. I've got some questions for you. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll be the you first insist. to tell you, I'll be the first to tell you something that I'm not usually into metal myself. Uh, but I am coming down to the show with uh, two other friends tonight. And uh, Gunpoint, huh? I'm trying to get kind of prepared for things. Can you tell me? Now, look, uh, how is this thing supposed to go here? Well, see, you put it a, you put it a little bit further in, and then you sit down. If you ever noticed in any of the pictures I had, only half of it was showing. That's when you find out how much of a man you really are. Well, I would imagine you don't want to bump into anything. Of course, that hole. This, you wouldn't that, be much of a man at all. This hole right here on the end of it might just yeah. be appropriate too. This is seven and a quarter inch. Me, but uh, this is uh, today, ladies and gentlemen. We're using a seven and a quarter inch uh, saw right. blade. Uh, is this what you recommend? No, not that's not what I recommend. What would you suggest? <laughs> well, the hole's got to be slightly. Enlarged. How, I'm not talking about Black and Decker. No, how do you uh, how do you attach it though? I'm not a nuclear physicist, for God's sake. Somebody said you weld this thing on. I tell you, that's so painful. I couldn't go through with it. It gives all new meaning to it. Just really messes raising. up genes. <laughs> um, can we talk about something else? Sure. This is um. This is an is economy this show. I self-expressionism I... here. What? This is I... a new art right here. I told a joke the other day. I said, you know, being at a concert is like being at a weenie roast with me being the weenie. Look, I'm just trying to do a little bit of research here. Okay. All right? So you're going to so wear just... saw blades and throw meat. Well, uh, well, don't you? I used to. Well, I... That's before no, I, got, I, I thought maybe we could... Uh, that's just... before I got rich and stopped that geek show. Uh, <laughs> Well, I know it was raw meat that you used to. Did you have a particular cut you that you used stop to throw? Waving that <laughs> you know, that reminds me, I heard another joke the other day Can about, I practice San, here? about San Francisco. How do you separate the men from the boys in San Francisco? Oh, no, never With mind a throw that. Bar, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, is this an overhand throw that you throw the raw meat with, or is it underhand? Yeah, you get the, you suggest? No, you get the overhand, the Dwight can, Gooden. Can you, can you throw us? No, no, that's okay. You show him how May we remind you kids at home that uh, this is not his being done by trained professionals. and um, on that. So mm -hmm. don't, you know, once again, try to try this at home. Really? Yeah. How am I doing? Okay, Let's, for uh, an amateur. Yeah. We'll practice it tonight. <laughs> Let's check out the video. We'll come back with some real questions. Maybe. This is the latest one from Wasp, and I don't need no doctor. From inside the Electric Circus, on the Electric Circus with Blackie Lawless and Wasp, and I don't need no doctor. Yeah. You know, we were talking about the change just a while ago. Why did you change? What change? Oh, well, the, the Pocket skull, change? the skull with the blood in it, the buzzsaw blade, the raw meat thrown out. Why is that all gone? Well, we got to a point where, believe it or not, when we were doing the meat, it, we likened it to Apocalypse Now. We said, what are we going to do? So do we carry on this quote type circus, and I'm not trying to make a pun now, but where it got to the point where the pieces of meat were going to move from this big to whole cows, and we said, well, there's got to be a stopping off point here sometime. And it also felt like after a while, well, I remember when I was a kid, I always wanted to play in a rock and roll band, but I thought about running away and joining the circus too, so... I started Wasp instead, you know. Kind of a good <laughs> combination, sure combination both, of the two. You know? But it, it just got to the point where we could not do any more than we were doing in that area. Also, we were doing a type of theater that was called psychodrama, which was, I've been told, psychotic people doing drama. But <laughs> you like that, do you? <laughs> um, when we got to the point where we had moved on from the houses that that was originally intended to play to, which was like 1,500 seats, it didn't work anymore. We moved up 10,000 seaters. It was literally losing something in the translation. So we had to trade in that type of intimate type theater for production. And what the people see now, and this inside the Electric Circus show, is a, a triple layered stage. And the staging is all, it's essentially animal cages. And in the cages are the amplifiers and they're painted like animal skins and all that stuff and uh, 
it's a it's a bizarre environment to say the least. Do you think Tipper Gore's kids are listening to Wasp albums now as a result of these changes? Are I'll they... tell you an honest to God story. This is a true story. I was Frank Zappa about a year ago, and he told me he says, "You know where this whole thing got started?" And I said, "No." We had this infamous song, still do by the way, called "Animal," which we will be performing this <laughs> evening. The subtitle shall this. remain nameless. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Fill in the blanks yourself, which God knows I've tried. I'll tell you, this show business stuff is rough. When I think about the number of women I've had to sleep with to get where I am, I'm good. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> tell me, how much of this stuff is real for you? How much of this stuff oh, is actually real? it's been you? real. It's been real. I mean, <laughs> anyway, well, the whole point that I'm making is that this whole thing can best be summed up by the title itself, Inside the Electric Circus, when it says in the chorus, the animals are all insane, God help us. That's the band's point of view when we stand on the stage, look down at the audience, because they do have a tendency to get excited. Do you live this lifestyle at home? Um, Are you married? I can't find anybody that'll have me. Can I, can <laughs> I, do you have any kids? Not that I know of. No. My mother used to tell me not Say to go you know, if, <laughs> if, 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 what, if your kids uh, brought home a Wham album, would you be kind of disappointed? You'd get a Wham upside the head, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see now, the first, uh, first Wasp album. Uh, and The Last Command each sold a million copies worldwide. Over a million. Yeah. Who would you like to work with who's not every day associated with heavy metal or even hard rock? There's, right now, and probably for about the last two years, I'd say David Gilmour, Pink Floyd. Mm -hmm. um, he has an approach to guitar that is unique. He's not the fastest guitar player in the world, but he's, to me, he's the tastiest, or one of the tastiest. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's innovative enough to try to do something like this. I think it would be a challenge to do something like this. Name. I'm not saying we're going to do that anytime soon. Um, I found it's best for me to not have too many chefs in the kitchen at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody starts putting in their two cents, and before you know it, uh, nobody knows where... You can't see the forest for the trees after a while. So it's better for me to stay in there and do it by myself. Let me ask you one last question before we wrap it up here. What does the acronym WASP stand for? It's a bug. I'm not sure if I know a word that big. Acronym. <laughs> Is that a city in Ohio? Acronym. <laughs> we have 10 it's Wasp albums to give away inside the electric circus to you. If you're one of the first 10 callers on the Toronto Rocks prize line, 872-7770. Doubtless, we're going to find out what the real meaning of Wasp is tonight. I know. At Massey Hall when Wasp is in concert with Slayer and Raven and Blackie. Thanks for dropping by.